it's will also store this uh, open flow uh, like what is you call open flow tables right so let me write what i have just told you routers and switches store open flow tables right this is what i told and this is the fact so we so why we need management network management or flow table management so routers and switches store open flow tables and it is fact you will have so many of switches in in the data center like 10k and you 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 will have like mm, uh, you will have so many vm machines like maybe 1 million vm machines who the fuck knows okay one will one million vm machines like virtual machines is also a possibility in big big fat data centers so let's take this into cons consideration so how many rules we, huh, does this one million vm machines will have like how many rules we should have to go to flow to navigate the traffic very efficiently or very nicely to the respective vm machines so so many rules are required maybe at least 5 million fucking 5 million yeah so so in these switches there are only 10k or 100k switches so it is not possible see 5 million rules stored in 100k switches not not feasible so like why is not feasible because because of low memory in switches and power efficient sorry power monger okay monger okay so can you remember from previous lectures what i have told about this tcim tcim is the chip and like memory used in switches and routers so tcim what is that one very very fast but low memory and very consume so much of power so this uh, so we should not dump so much of tcms and so many like um, we should not um, do that so for mobility here i have explained this um, yeah so for mobility and efficient usage of resources we will use dfn and cab cab is like a extension of dfn like how to store the thing and dfn is about distribution how we distribute the flow table entries okay so in in dfn we are going to use authority switches like see see this is ethan example right yeah you already know 